Hey everyone, welcome back to new content of Cybrosis. In today's video, we will discuss about the costing method. In order, the costing method determines half the cost of goods is calculated for inventory valuation. And there are three main costing methods that are standard price, average cost, and first in, first out. So first, we will be discussing about the standard price. This method uses a fixed cost that you can manually define for the product. And this cost is used for the inventory valuation regardless of the actual uh, purchase price. So let's move on to the inventory module to manage with the standard price. And under the configuration, you can find the product categories and we just need to consider the product in order to set with the standard price so uh, in this case as you just move on to all and all or any of the category you can find the inventory valuation and choose the costing method over here so you can find different costing method now let's consider the product uh, from the product uh, section and uh, here you can find the product which is desk stand with screen so as you just move on to the category of the product here you can see that the costing method is provided as uh, standard and the inventory valuation is set to automated. So if you want to manually do the inventory valuation, you can just go with that or you can just choose automated over there. So once everything is done, uh, you can just move on to the uh, purchase module because we just need to perform the purchase over here. To perform the purchase first, we just need to create a vendor. Uh, I mean, we just need to designate a vendor over here. And I'm going to choose a product which is uh, desk stand with a uh, screen and you can find the price over here. So in this case, you can see that the price of the product is 210, uh, that is uh, 2010. But I would like to change the price as 2500 over here. But even if you change the price of the product, you cannot find any reflection in the change, uh, change of the product as we are just going with the costing method as standard price. And this uh, determines that it will be using a fixed price for the cost of the product, even if we change manually. So you can save the changes that you have made. Afterwards, let's confirm the order. We can receive the item into our stock. To receive the item into our stock, we can just click on validate button and this would let you to uh, keep the item in our stock so under the valuation here you can see that um, uh, the price of the product is again considered as 2010 um, but as you just move on to the section that is the purchase order here you can see that we have manually changed the price of the product but this, it is not reflected over here so as you just move on to the cost of the product you can see that it will be having 2010 as a price over there now let's consider the other product uh, and we will be dealing the uh product category uh with the uh, average uh cost uh i mean average cost as the uh, costing method so i'm going to consider the product over here as uh flip over so in case of flip over let's move on to the uh product category and in this case you can see that it is first in first out and you can set it as a uh, average i mean average costing method so let's save this and afterwards let's move on to the section and here you can see that the cost of the product is 1700 and we just need to create the purchase uh, order over here. To create the purchase order let's move on to the RFQ and let me create multiple orders over here. So in this case the average costing method, this method calculates the cost of the inventory item based on the average cost of all available similar items in the stock and the average cost is updated each time the product is purchased and received so in this case i would like to save the vendor as decorated and let's say that i'm going to consider the product which is the flip over so you can see the price of the product is 1700 and uh, i'm just neglecting the taxes and let's confirm the order and let me receive the item into this stock so uh, let's receive the item into this stock by clicking on validate you can just uh, receive the item but in this case we just need to designate the load number and let's say that uh, i'm going to set it as f01 and let's uh, generate over here afterwards you can save the changes that you have made and click on validate in order to receive the item in the stock and you can find the valuation over here okay now we again let me duplicate the uh, rfq and let's change the price so uh, we can duplicate the uh, yeah um, thing over here and that is the a purchase order and let's change the quantity as two and uh, i would like to change 
I would like to change uh, the price of the product as a uh, thousand eight hundred. So in this case, we have two quantity, and you can find the total price of the product is given over here. And let's save it and let's confirm the order. And we just need to receive the item into the stock, and let's receive the item by um, assigning the uh, load load number or serial number. So let's say that uh, uh, F zero two f02 and uh, let's click on generate and uh, we will be generating the number over there and let's save it and afterwards let's click on validate in order to receive the item in the stock and you can find under the valuation we have received the item but as you just wanted the products here you can see that the price will be uh, affected over there by considering the average price before it was 7000 uh, i mean 1700 now you can consider the purchase order so in case of first purchase order we know that the price of the product is 1700 and in case of uh, the uh, second purchase order we know uh, we have uh, purchased the item uh, with two quantity of the uh, flip power right so 2 into 1800 will be uh, 3600 obviously now we just need to consider the total cost of the inventory so the total cost of the inventory will be 1800 plus uh, 1700 and altogether we have just purchased three items of flip power right so you can just simply divide it by three so you will be getting the result over here uh, okay, so uh, the result is given over here as 1766.67. So you can find uh, the average costing method that is reflected over here. Okay, and uh, in this, um, now we just need to discuss about the first in first start. For that, we can consider the other product with the category as first in first start. So I'm going to consider the magnetic board over here. And in this case, we are just choosing the category as all and let me change it as first in, first out. So I'm going to consider the product uh, magnetic board and we just need to purchase the item. So first I'm going to purchase the item over here by choosing uh, the um, winter as Alabama Department of Revenue. And uh, let's say that... Uh, we just want to purchase the item and here we just need to update the cost. So as we haven't updated the cost, it is not reflected over there. So let's see um, that uh, the price of the product is uh, just 5 and uh, the cost of the product is uh, 2. Okay. So afterwards, you can save the changes that you have made and we just need to uh, change the price over here. So let's see, we are just going to purchase 10 quantity of board over here. And I just don't need to apply any taxes in this case. And let me confirm the order and let me receive the item into our stock. So uh, in order to receive the item into the stock, we can just click on validate so that we can just keep the item in the stock. And you can find we have received 10 quantity and the total value is 20. Now again, let me duplicate this order. And in order to duplicate the order, uh, we can just... Uh, go to the settings and let's duplicate and let me change the quantity over here as 20 and let me change the price as uh, 3 over here okay and afterwards we can just receive the item into our stock and let me receive the product and let's click on validate in order to receive the item in the stock and you can also find the valuation okay and afterwards what you have to do is let's check the price of the magnetic board so as you just want the magnetic board here you can find the price or uh, the cost was just turned into 2.67 we have just provided it as a uh, two point uh i mean just simply two but now it's just changed it as a uh, 2.67 but as we are just performing the costing method as first in first out whenever we receive the order from the customer the price will be updated over here accordingly so as you just move on to the sales module now let's create a sale order to create the sale order you can just click on new button and you can just fill out the details of the customer so let's say i'm going to choose a customer as a uh, 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 techo addict and afterwards we are just going to choose a product which is magnetic boot so in this case i'm going to set it as five quantity so first item uh, received will be considering our day and uh, let's say that uh, we just need to confirm the order 
and afterwards uh, we just need to uh, receive the item i mean we just need to deliver the item um and here you can see how uh, the price is affecting over there okay so let's click on validate and uh, in this case we are just going to deliver the item to the customer with the cost of five over there and with the five quantity and under the valuation also you can see everything and when you just move on to the magnetic board here you can find the prices again changed and now let me uh change the quantity frame here by duplicating the order okay so let me click on duplicate and let's set uh, the quantity as uh 15 okay so five quantity will be taking from the first order and rest of the uh, 10 quantities will be taking from the second order and uh, the unit price is five itself and let's click on confirm and we just need to um deliver the item to the customer so let's click on validate in order to deliver the item to the customer and you can see that under the magnetic uh, board uh, the price will be reflected over uh, again there uh, with as three because when we just go with the first in first out the product that are received into the warehouse uh, first will be considering over there which means that this method assumes that the first unit of inventories that are purchased are the first one to be sold and the cost of the goods sold is calculated based on the cost of oldest stock. So this is how we just manage with the costing method. To set the costing method for a particular product in Odoo, you just need to make sure that you have configured the costing method appropriately for the product category. And you can just choose the desired costing method in the inventory valuation section. So it is important to choose the costing method that best suit your business needs and consult with the account and before making any changes so if you want odo customizations or odo tutorial videos feel free to contact cybrosis as always stay awesome and thank you for watching the video